Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw an ellipse given its vertical and horizontal axis using the concentric circles method. So here we can see our two axes AB and CD. So the first step with our compass setting it in the midpoint 0 and with radius 0B or 0A we are going to draw our first circle. as can be seen here. So continue with the compass set on 0 again and with radius 0C or 0D we are going to draw our second smaller internal circle. So now we have two circles and the two axes AB and CD. So the next step we are going to draw another diameter at 60 degrees from the horizontal or 30 degrees from the vertical axis as can be seen here and we draw from the outside circle okay so now where it cuts the outer circles, we will call these points M and N. So the next step, and using your set square, we're going to draw a horizontal line from the point M to the right. And now we're going to draw a vertical line from point N until it cuts the horizontal line that we've just drawn at a new point which we're going to call P1 and this will be the first point on the ellipse that we want to draw okay so you can see P1 okay now we're going to repeat this process on the other side of the diameter on the bottom half of the circle so again where the diameter cuts the large circle we draw a vertical line and where it cuts the smaller circle we draw a horizontal line perpendicular and where these two lines cut each other we will call point two which will be another point on our ellipse okay so we're going to repeat this process three more times altogether we're going to divide our circle into six parts of 30 degrees or we're going to divide the smaller circle into 12 um, sectors of 30 degrees or 12 angles of 30 degrees in total and we're going to do the same process with each diameter so where the diameters cut the circles we will draw a vertical and horizontal line to get six more points Now we have our fourth diameter. Okay, so we're going to start repeating the process that we done originally. Where the diameters cut the small circle, we draw a horizontal line. And where it cuts the large circle, we draw a vertical line. And where these two lines intersect will be our third point. P3. We repeat the process again where it cuts the small circle we draw a horizontal line and where it cuts the large circle we draw a vertical line and again where these two lines intersect will be P4. We repeat the process again on the bottom half of the circle To get P5, P2 is already done, so we go to the right hand side to get P6. And now the same process again vertical line from the large circle, 
and horizontal line from the smaller circle and where they cut we have another point on our ellipse which we will call P7 and finally P8 so we have 8 points plus A, B, C and D so 12 points altogether that we are going to join freehand with a thicker pencil or we can use a curves template or French curves template to help us join the points to form our ellipse as can be seen here okay so I hope this video has helped you please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel thank you